with residential units, commercial office and retail space, and a commuter parking garage for our mock riders, this town center will definitely play a role in MDOT's ongoing efforts to meet Governor and Lieutenant Governor's goal of doubling transit ridership, while at the same time reducing traffic gridlock, creating jobs, and protecting our environment. This project will also strengthen the appeal of this entire region as a place where people want to live and work and where companies want to locate and create jobs. And speaking of jobs, this project alone is expected to create more than 700 permanent jobs and hundreds of temporary construction jobs. It's important we have, tra we have transit options. So whether it's at the Odenton Mark train station or it's here, somebody can get on a train from Union Station, get on a train from Camden Yards, get right here and get a shuttle that takes them right on base. That's got to be the future as the mission at Fort Meade grows. Look, we're going to see... As the, as the U.S. Cyber Command was just stood up not that long ago, we're going to see continued growth at Fort Meade. It's important for the economic development, economic vitality of our nation and for our region as we've become the, the, uh, the hub for cybersecurity in our, in our country. But it's up to us collectively to make sure we support Fort Meade. 57,000 vehicles pass through our gates every day. Those people commute from all across the state of Maryland and literally the entire region. So the efforts in partnership of the state to improve the ability for those people to get to their jobs in the morning quickly and easily, driving on roads without having to wait for 15 minutes after you've already maybe driven for 30, 45 minutes, an hour to get to 175 and then have to sit in further traffic. Uh, the ability to get those people to their places of business so that intel analysts can analyze intelligence and communications specialists can ensure that our nation's Department of Defense and global communications networks are running smoothly is absolutely vital. As you know, the answer to our transportation problems is not to pave over the entire state with roads. Since traffic is ridiculous and fuel is just too expensive, the answer is to bring the various elements together with mixed-use transit-oriented development. The day of one person per car traveling a long distance to go to work is coming to a rapid end. The transit garage we are building is intermodal in that it contains a bus drop-offs and pickups, both public and private. The private buses are for Fort Meade, NSA, and Cyber Command. The garage has also been designed to be expanded to keep up with future growth. We're very pleased with this. Getting traffic off of the roads is important to us in Howard County, increasing ridership, economic development. All of this is a wonderful, wonderful public-private partnership, and we are just pleased to be a part of it. Thank you.